Well, chip shortages remain a problem, as Jared was talking about, so much so that some automakers are looking at maybe just going without them. <laughs> Yahoo Finance's Pras Supermanian is here with the details on Ford, which apparently, uh, Pras, they might be just going without the chips in some AC units in their uh, Ford Explorers. Is that right? Yeah, Brian, you know, it's maybe some innovative, interesting moves here by Ford to get some, some cars out on the dealer lots. Uh, Ford announcing that they're actually going to, for the Explorer at least, they're not going to use the chips in the rear uh, heating and cooling controls in the back. Basically, what Ford said in a statement is, beginning soon, we will offer customers a way to get their Explorers more quickly, thanks to a specification change that will keep rear seat heating, air conditioning, auxiliary controls up front with the driver. Uh, basically saying that the, you can use the, the front, you know, the, the driver can use his, uh, his climate controls to control the back. And then eventually within a year, they will actually retrofit those uh, rear controls for passengers. And Ford is actually gonna offer that, those cars at a discount uh, to buyers. So, you know, this is a way for them to actually kind of ship partially built but drivable cars to the dealerships. In the past, uh, they haven't been doing that. They've been keeping um, cars like the Ford Bronco, hundreds of them piled up at a, at a, at a factory because they're not, actually not drivable. They're missing some certain ships. Uh, Ford has stopped, started F-150 production over the last year and a half. Most recently, they started offering the F-150 without the auto stop start function. So you can actually buy that car now and they'll retrofit that chip in there later. Now, this isn't just Ford doing that, right? GM, BMW, even Tesla has had to cut product features to get these cars on the road. Um, and this is on top of, of Ford saying uh, in a report by the Automotive News today that they expect to see 1.66 uh, million units sold this year versus initial estimate of 1.9 million based on the fact that they can't get these chips or components into their cars. Pross, let's zoom out to the international uh, picture for Ford because uh, apparently some reports that they're going to ramp up their electric vehicle offering in Europe. And in fact, they've got a, a major battery facility that, that they're planning in Turkey. Yeah, so Ford ramping up across the pond their EV plans. You know, this coming after this soon, this coming soon after the after they announced that that split within the company of the new co and old co EV and ICE business. So, in in Europe, they're going to actually uh, roll out seven new uh, EVs in the next or six years or so, three passenger EVs and four new commercial EVs. Uh, they're going to be built in a in a plant in Cologne, Germany, and they want to make about 1.2 million vehicles EV vehicles in the next six years. You mentioned that battery plant. They're going to partner with um, South Korea's SK to build a battery plant in Turkey. Uh, SK is the same company that Ford is going to build a big blue oval city in Tennessee. That that massive plant that'll actually build the new electric F-150 as well as build batteries for them. So, you know, a lot of OEMs talking big here, Brian, uh, analysts and Wall Street kind of watching to see, hey, you guys are announcing millions and upon millions of EVs in the next few years. Are you actually gonna be able to make them when you can't even put in, you know, rear <laughs> rear climate controls uh, chips in your cars? Dude, when's that uh, the lightning coming out? You gotta take me for a test drive, bro. Is that soon? Oh, uh, you know it, Brian. <laughs> Supposedly <laughs> later this year, Brian, they're going to start ramping that up and then coming out to dealer floors later this year, probably in the fall. Um, you know, this is a big deal because of the fact that Rivian has had so many problems getting their trucks out on the road. Is Ford actually going to catch up with them and, and, and surpass them, given the head start that Rivian has had so far? All right. Well, you promised me that you'd take me for a test drive. So when that happens, let me know. Yahoo Finance is Pro Supermanian. Thanks so much.